morning. Hep Tuesday. You know what? Today is a good day. Don't you try to tell me otherwise. I know better. Today is a good day. Today is the day the Lord has made. And that makes it a good day. Even when it's hard, even when it's tough. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. Where is everybody? Why is nobody online? What's going on? Where are you? Hurry up. Hi, Dassey. All right. If you're watching, say hey. Hey, hey, Susan. Good morning. Good morning, Caitlin. Where's my coffee? What are you doing with my coffee? Let's drink it. Good morning. Hey, Kim. Hey, Eileen. I love your name. Every time I say it, I'm like, oh, I love that name. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Ka Ka Kayla. Kyla. I can't pronounce your name this morning. Kayla. I tried to pronounce Kayla and Dawn at the same time, and it came out Kyla. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Meredith. Good morning, my friends. I hope you all had a lovely Monday. Hey, Aiden. Good morning, kiddo. Hey, Bonnie. Um, so I'm going to make something fun this morning. I, a while ago, tried making something that came out phenomenal. And then I tried it before I made it live. And then life got the best of me and I never showed you. And it kind of is something that really ultimately should be made today to eat tomorrow. Um but I'm going to go ahead and make it today and eat it today. And then maybe I'll make two. And then I can show you tomorrow what the second one looks like after it sat overnight. So why don't I do that? I'll make a double batch of this. This is going to be not just PB and J oats, but an amazing version of, okay, I made this. It's been like a year. And I loved it so much. And it keeps coming back to my head. I need to remake that. I need to remake that. People need to try this. This was so good. And then I just never did it. This needs to be the next big thing. So let's make it the next big thing, shall we? This is blended oats. If you've never had blended oats, they're bomb.com. They're like pudding. So I'm going to make a double batch here, okay? So I'm going to use one cup of oats because these really are even better overnight in the fridge. They're, they're, you could do these as overnight oats. Um, or you can eat them warm. So I'm going to do them warm. <laughs> Nothing will ever be bigger than squaffy. Um, I'm going to do them warm. So... Couple tablespoons of baking blend. If you don't have baking blend, I would say just leave it out. I wouldn't use like almond flour or anything like that. Um, and then I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of creamy dreamy. I'm gonna actually do four because I'm double batching this. So I'd say four tablespoons of creamy dreamy. You could use collagen or whey protein if you want. I'm gonna do creamy dreamy. Um, and then a cup, uh, two cups actually of almond milk. Or cashew milk. This one is, this one's almond milk. So two cups of almond milk. Again, double batch enough. Um, and then I put vanilla in there. Grab the vanilla and not the brags. A couple teaspoons of vanilla. Uh, salt. Where's my salt? It's over here. My salt is empty. A couple pinches of... Just a couple pinches of salt. I have sea salt and um, some super sweet. I think I wrote down super sweet. I think I probably did a couple of teaspoons. Hey guys. All right. 
So those, oh, water. Uh, I did a cup of water. So this would make a pretty big batch. Uh, two servings, but it should make pretty big servings. Because nobody wants scrawny servings at breakfast. No. Oh, peanut powder. This would be optional if you don't want them peanut butter flavored. Where is my peanut powder? Right here in front of my face. I'm going to do two heaping tablespoons of peanut powder. All right, blend that up. And then I'm gonna cook it. It's nice and blended and it should thicken up nice as I cook it. It should. If I wrote down my ingredients from a year ago right, this should thicken up nicely. You could probably pour one right into the fridge. <laughs> Don't pour it right into the fridge. If you just pour this straight into the fridge, it's going to make a mess. You could pour it into pint-sized jars and it should thicken, okay? I may have written down the amounts of liquid wrong because I feel like I put a lot of liquid in here. We're going to go ahead and see what happens. We're going to cook it for a few minutes and see if it thickens. And if it doesn't, I'll add some psyllium husk. That'll make them thicken. All right. I'm going to make them in. I wish I had little pint-sized jars. I don't know whatever I did with them. I don't know what I did with my point size jars. I think I don't know. I could do one in this. I have a second one of these that I've left in the container for when I break this. Because ultimately, I'm going to break this. So I saved the other one that I was sent. I was sent two of these by Sweet Meredith and I love it and it's actually I haven't killed it yet but I saved the second one for when I ultimately break it because that's what I do have we met um I want a clear container so you can see what I'm gonna do I'll do the first one and then we'll move on to the second one all right so we're gonna need a little bit of stuff for the top here. If I can remember what I did. Not much peanut powder and maybe I think it was like a teaspoon. So I need to do two teaspoons. This has been a long time, you guys. Yeah, mason jar. I don't have it. I only have the big ones and it's only going to I suppose I could put one. I could put some in here. It just would be deep. I can do that. I can do that. Um, so a little bit of peanut powder. This is a double batch again. So a couple teaspoons of peanut powder. And our added fat in this is going to be coconut oil. I'm going to measure this out to make sure that I, I don't overdo my coconut oil. So I need two teaspoons. I should have melted it first. I meant to, but I didn't. So two teaspoons of, I should have melted it in my bowl and then added the peanut powder to it. But I don't like to do things in your traditional manner. Why would I? Measure your fat when you're doing an E best you can because you can easily overdo. I mean, a teaspoon looks like a lot less than one would hope. I think very often, I think we do this, myself included. All right, one teaspoon of added fat, and really it's a whole tablespoon. I've been known to do so more than once. All right, I'm just gonna warm this up in my, that's not even a microwave safe dish. Honest to Pete, KJ, it's got a magnet in it. That would not be pretty. I don't know why I put it in there. 
Melt your coconut oil and then add some peanut powder to it. Don't do it this way because now I'm unnecessarily heating up my peanut powder. I'm probably going to burn it. It's probably going to catch on fire because I just put powder in the microwave. Don't do what I do. Whoops. You watch. All of a sudden, I'm going to be like, what's the smoke? I'm burning peanut powder. That's right. Why do things the right way when you can do it the KJ way? All right. You do not need a lot of this. This is two servings, okay? You don't need a lot for this to work. Now I just have to stand here awkwardly and wait for my oatmeal to cook. hopefully thicken. Oh yeah, she's thickening up. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. Blended oatmeal. You just wait, you guys. You're going to be like, what? Why didn't I blend this all along? Oh, it's thickening up. Gorgeous. You hear that? My stomach's growling. You could put cocoa in here instead of peanut butter and make um, chocolate blend. Look at this. Can you see this? I'll do it. I'll, it might be a while before it gets there. You're probably gonna, it's probably going to be more than three hours to your meal. Caitlin, if I ship it, <laughs> everything takes longer from Maine. Oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this thick. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities, but you wait until you see what I'm going to do with it, Meredith. And hopefully it'll come out nice today. You can blend this and not even cook it and just put it straight into your, that's a chunk of Teflon from my pan. I don't want that. All right, somebody remind me to go get my ninja, my new set of pans from downstairs so I can stop eating Teflon. My husband keeps offering and I keep saying, eh, not right now. I don't need it right now. You could skip cooking this all together and put it right in the fridge and make overnight oats with it. Oh, it's like pudding. So Meredith, this was, I got to turn the heat down. This was, I wrote down, I texted myself. This is two servings. So this is a cup of rolled oats two tablespoons of baking blend, three tablespoons of creamy dreamy. You could use a different powder if you wanted. One, uh, two cups of cashew milk or oat milk, right? I know, Kayla, you're probably right. <laughs> Where's your inflammation? It's dairy. No, KJ, it's Teflon. You're eating Teflon. Um, some vanilla, a couple pinches of salt, and I did two teaspoons of... Um, Super sweet. All right. <laughs> I just got a text. Get rid of those pans. As a reminder. All right. Doesn't need to cook long. Look at this. I know. Don't be grossed out. Don't be like, ooh, that looks nasty. It's it's like porridge. Trust me. It tastes like pudding. Half in here. I'm going to quickly stick that outside because I want it to cool. Yes, I know. It's basically cold oatmeal. You can eat it warm if you want. Oh, it's not even that cold out. I want it to cool so I can show you what I'm going to do to the top. 
No, they're not snotty at all. No, I didn't put psyllium husk in there. I, I was wondering if I was going to need it because I couldn't remember the liquid that I put in, how much liquid I put in last time. It doesn't need it. It's plenty thick without the psyllium. Use a smaller jar, you guys. This is not going to look as pretty. This would be a good afternoon snack. It'd be a good lunch. Oh, man. You could even throw an egg in there and bake it. <laughs> it would probably be good. There's some, some egg whites. But I'm not doing that. Alright, the one that's cooling out there is the one I'm going to eat this morning. See, it's better in a lower mason jar because... because oh my goodness, that's good. Alright, alright, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go get that one off the deck. Now, if you like things really sweet, you may want to add more sweetener. This is mildly sweet, which is what I like. I did. I just want it to cool. Kind of. No. It will be kind of layered. Kind of. But it won't be like bread. I'm not baking it, Meredith. I'm eating it like this. But I'm going to stick it in the freezer because I want you to see what I'm going to do. I want you to see the way this comes out. Okay, take some on plan jam, make some slim belly jelly or buy some on plan jam like this. This is the same as like an polliners. This is a superfoods, um, superfood blend, which has uh, cherries, pomegranates, apples. Use an on plan jam, put a big old tablespoon on top of your oats. You could even just blend up some berries and pour that on top. Or you know what? If you want to just put whole berries on top, it's your oatmeal. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. But yes, I licked the same spoon that I'm using in tomorrow's container. It's fine. Everybody chill. I actually, I need to use this. And I licked this too, so it's perfect. Try to get the top of your oatmeal layer as flat as you can. And there is a reason, okay? There's a solid, important reason. So try to get the top as flat and smooth as you can. Because we're going to top it with this next thing. And I hope this comes out as good for me today as it did the first time I made it because it was straight up balls. Get it as smooth on the top and flat as you can. Because the layer that we're going to pour on top is not very much. And I want it to cover the whole top. So if you got all these divots, it's all going to fall down in. It's not going to work. All right. Ready? You pour your slightly solidified milk or coconut oil. For two servings, it's two teaspoons of coconut oil and add two teaspoons of peanut powder and then pour that over the top, half on each, try to coat the entire thing, okay? Woo, oh, I almost poured that right in the jelly container. That would have been awful. I want it to cover my berries. I want it to, as much as I can, completely cover my berries. And then I'm going to stick it in the fridge. And actually, I'm going to stick it in the freezer real quick and give myself, well, it won't take much, maybe five minutes. If I can find a space for that container right there. Nope. Come on. I got to move the Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts. Hot Pockets. Oh my word, and mac and cheese bites. I can't get the freezer to close, you guys. Hold on. Oh, somebody pump, please. 
come clean this stupid freezer for me. I can't take another minute. Tater tots in the way of my oatmeal. Oh my word. Lord, please rescue me from this fridge. Sorry. Okay. Oh. My stomach's growling. I want every drip of that. I'm just going to put that in the fridge for tomorrow. This one is just going to go in the fridge. So if you're making this today for tomorrow, I don't even have a phone. Oh, this will work. You don't need to. You Here's a couple of options. You don't even need to cook it if you don't want to. Okay? You can totally have it cold. You could just put it straight. I'm going to eat this one cold. But you can just totally do it raw and throw it right in the freezer. Okay. I'm trying, not the freezer, sorry, the refrigerator. I want to try to make it quickly, though my oats are still going to be warm, but because I'm making it now and showing you all, I'm sticking it in the freezer so I can get the final product. So I'm going to stick that one in the fridge. You can warm it up later if you want, but oh, there's a piece of oatmeal. You want that bassy? Yes, you do. Is this cool now? All right. Everybody watch. Nobody has to worry anymore about me eating flaky pots. I just threw it in the garbage. It's gone. I will go get the new pots today. I'm not going to eat any more Teflon. That's garbage. All right. Now we wait. So, Charlotte, I can tell you what I did because... Um, it's going to take just a few minutes to set up. Um, like I said, normally I would just put it in the fridge and walk away and have it tomorrow, but I want it right now. Ha um, so two servings would be one cup of oatmeal into your blender, one cup of oatmeal, two tablespoons of THM baking blend. If you don't have baking blend, just leave it out altogether. Don't replace it with like almond flour or anything else because that adds fat. So just use... Um, Baking blend. Three tablespoons of a protein. I did creamy dreamy in mine. I did three heaping tablespoons of creamy dreamy in mine. I did one cup of almond milk, uh, sorry, two cups of almond milk and one cup of water, a couple splashes of vanilla, a couple pinches of salt, and two teaspoons of super sweet and blend them up. And then at that point, you can just put them in your containers, do the toppings, put them in your containers and just leave them and have overnight oats or you can cook them to eat them warm or quickly. I like, if you, if, if I had just blended them and eaten them, they would have been okay, but they would have had some texture to them. Cooking them, make them all soften up. So they're going to be delicious that way. We need a PB and J squaffy girl. I am not opposed to a peanut butter and jelly squaffy. Maybe I'll do that one day this week. Squaffy's all the rage now. It's taken off on social media. Somebody, listen to this. Somebody last night on Zoom said their daughter works for the state of Maine. And they had to, they were playing some icebreaker game where they had to come up with a weird word. And she used the word squaffy. And they asked her what it was. And she told them. And then she showed them my recipe. So the state house in Maine now knows what squaffy is. That's it. We're going to be famous. You were in on the ground level of squaffy. Don't forget. When squaffy became famous, you were there. All right. You were there. I'm just saying. Bonnie Clap's going to be wrong on this one. Squaffy is going to. What is squaffy? Squaffy. That needs more sweetener. Squaffy is a summer squash blended into your coffee. There's a couple extra added ingredients. No, it's not a shake or a smoothie. It's squaffy because it doesn't have like ice or anything to make it super thick. It's still nice and thin. And it's absolutely delicious. And it's a great way to get your veggies in. Makes it creamy. 
Telling you. It's the next big thing. Somebody has already made hot squocolate. Somebody has made squinging canary. Oh, let me take my oats real quick. And see if they're ready. Not yet, almost. I gotta tip my container. My container leg crooked and so my berries are exposed. My berries are exposed. I'm going to get kicked off social media for that. Don't be exposed in your berries. Trust me. When you're full time on social media as your job, people send you pictures of their berries. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Stop it. If you're one of the people sending me that stuff, knock it off. I'm reporting you to the face police. It's gross. You're welcome. Now you know what KJ deals with on a daily basis. I love all of your messages, but not those ones. Right? You'd be surprised what psychos will do. Y'all are a quiet bunch this morning. So quiet. Nobody's commenting. Why are you not commenting? You're so quiet. Oh, listen, you guys. I'm having a Norwex party. Does anybody like Norwex? Because I am new to the Norwex world. Let me just tell you. So I'm having a party. I'm just doing a link. I have all of these Norwexy thingies to try and I haven't tried them, okay? I, I, I used this one for something and then realized I wasn't supposed to use it for that. This is a kitchen cloth that you use in the kitchen. And I know that you use it in the kitchen because it says so right here. Kitchen. You cannot use this one in the bathroom. Don't try. It won't work. Okay. Um, I know nothing, FYI, about Norwex. But I'm learning. I do like these things. I do like them. I will say the one thing I'm not loving is that I have to wash them separate from my other things. I don't like having an extra load to do. So I have this one, kitchen cloth. I don't know for sure what I'm supposed to use it for. I haven't figured it out, but I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. So this one's for the kitchen. This one is for the body. I have one of these in my shower that's larger than this, and I absolutely love these. Now, I have been told that you can do a body washcloth in the shower and not use soap, and you get clean with no soap using a Norwex cloth. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about not using soap in the shower, but apparently you don't have to. So that's interesting. You might want to do, I don't understand, Meredith. It freaks me out. And does it damage it if you use soap anyway? Let's hope not because I like soap. <laughs> I'm learning. This one I actually have one of these that somebody sent me a while ago, and I will say this is one of the most amazing cloths I have ever owned in my life. Okay, holy cow. This is a window cloth. This, if you clean your windows, which I do at least once every five years, this, holy cow. It's insane. Okay, it's insane. You get it a little bit wet, or at least that's what I've been doing. Get it a little bit wet and wipe your mirror with it and then just rub the other side. The Amazing. You can also shave your legs with no soap if you scrub. Do people still shave their legs in 2023? Just kidding. I shave my legs. Calm down, everybody. Don't panic. I shave my legs sometimes, like once every... Well, it's April and I'm going on vacation next week and I have a couple of skirts to wear, so I will likely shave this week. Winter's ending. 
need extra insulation here in Maine. Okay. So anyway, this cloth right here, incredible. Okay. Yes. I clean my cloth, my faucets, floss, floss, clean my floss. Oh, never mind. It's really good. Okay. This one is really good. You can clean your faucets with it. So I do like that. The other one I have looks like Paris or something. I have this one. This, I actually have two of these. This one is called a dusting mitt. So you can walk around your house with a little mitt on and just wipe things down. And it works really good. I'm surprised at how much dust it picks up without anything. And it says it removes bacteria. So that's good. This, oh, this is the Enviro cloth. Supposedly, word on the street is, You can wash with this thing with no soap and then hang it and any bacteria on it will, will as it dries in 24 hours, it will be bacteria free. Freaks me out. Don't know how it's happening. It's got some kind of backlog, something, silver or something. I don't know. So I have two of these. Um, I admittedly, I have accidentally put them in my washing machine with my laundry because like I said, I really struggle with the idea of doing a second load of laundry and people say, oh, you don't have to wash it out. You don't have to put it in the washing machine. You just wash it and hang it and it gets clean. But to me, it's still got a little bit of stank to it. So I've been washing it and intended to wash it separately, but accidentally washed it with my load of laundry. So I do not know that it still works again, but I do love this cloth. I use it. I have one here. I have one under my cabinet that's clean. This one, oh, my stomach's growling. This one is an Enviro and scrub. So this is the Enviro cloth, but scrubby. It's got a little scrubby scrub. You know, it's good for your, your dry skin. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But it does work very well. It scrubs funk off things. I actually really like that one. And then there was one other thing. Oh, this thing. I'm actually quite enjoying this fun little thing. I'm quite enjoying this. This is my fruit and veggie mat. I am not a cleaner of fruit and veggies, have we met? But with this, I can get it a little wet and just scrub. This cleans potatoes faster than grandma ever could. Let me just tell you, watch this. Let me show you. Okay, here's a potato that has sprouted wings. So let me show you on this one. Let me let me break off some of those things. This is a, a look, this is a red potato, okay? See how it's not very red? It's brown. Watch this. I hope it works since it's show and tell. I get it a little wet. Watch this, ready? This is pretty amazing. Are you ready to be wowed? Uh, this is my favorite part, my favorite thing so far. This is my favorite thing because I hate scrubbing potatoes. And so usually I just don't scrub it. And I tell people don't eat the peel because it's got dirt on it. Don't eat that. My daughter will say, can I eat the peel? And I say, no, I didn't wash it. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? Look how red, it's actually red. Look how good and easy that worked. Is that not crazy pants? Look at that potato. You can use your knuckles. You can do a little knuckle, knuckle scrub. Look at that. It's so clean. Just from this. This is my favorite. So if you would like to purchase something from Norwax, there will be a link posted on my page a couple of times this week. I am having a party and we'll see how much I earn for free product. I will give some of it away because I only need so many cleaning products. All right. Let's check my oats now. Oh, they're still not ready. All right. I'm going to have to show you tomorrow. So look, here's the thing. I'll show you tomorrow what happens when you let this sit in the fridge. But my stomach is growling so loudly. 
it's disrupting the space-time continuum. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Mallory, is some prizes for the retreat. So this, when it sits in your fridge, this, when your oats are cold, when this whole thing sits in your fridge for a while, that peanut butter on top is going to firm up, okay? And it's going to make a crackle top. See the edges have, the middle hasn't because it hasn't been in there long enough. And my oats are warm, so it's taking forever to firm up. This is going to turn hard and you're going to have to break down through it to get at your oatmeal. Let me just tell you, I will take, I don't want to eat this. I want it to be ripe. I will take pictures tomorrow. But look, okay, when that is crusty and hard, look at this. Do you see this? When that gets crunchy on the top, oh my word, let me just tell you. I'll show you my batch tomorrow. Stop. Those are redonkulous. They're making my mouth is dripping because I'm drooling over my own oatmeal. This will get all crispy and you'll have to break down through it to get to your oatmeal that looks like this. It looks like peanut butter pudding. Oh, so good. I'm going to get some containers and do a reel so y'all can see it. All right. I got to go. Yeah, you could. You could do your PB&J in the bottom. But my peanut butter is already, my oatmeal is already peanut buttery. But yeah, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. All right, guys. I love you so much. Add extra sweetener if you like things sweet. Remember, I like my oatmeal less sweet. I like coffee super sweet and my oatmeal less sweet. So if you want more sweetener. Taste your batter before you put it in here. You might want more sweetener. All right, you guys. I love you so much. I hope you have a blessed day today. Stay on plan for crying out loud. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.